All right, so obviously you have some type of experience with smart contract development, or maybe you're just a newbie looking to learn. Either way, this is gonna be an introductory video on Remix IDE. We're gonna look at the different features that Remix has to offer, as well as we will be deploying a smart contract on the platform, so keep watching. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and open up Google and type in Remix Ethereum. Now, Remix is a platform that is also used to learn as well as create smart contracts. Remix is very efficient because it compiles your contract as well as deploys it. And as far as learning is concerned, Remix is the best platform out there, in my opinion, for learning smart contracts with Solidity. So let's go ahead and break down the different components of Remix. So right here on the left-hand side, you're gonna click Solidity Compiler. Now at the top, we have the option to select the version of Solidity in which we would like to run our smart contract. This little plus button right here is gonna allow you to add a custom compiler with your URL. This is a little bit more advanced, but we'll be touching on this later on. And right under that, we have the different languages. Right now you have Solidity and Yule. We're gonna be sticking to Solidity for this course. And then you have the EVM version. We stick to compiler default. Uh, so let's just go to our simple ERC20 template contract. So we're gonna go back to compile and we're gonna click compile simple ERC. We're just compiling and boom. This little green check sign shows that our contract shows no errors and is successfully compiled and ready to be deployed. Now, as you can see right here under the compile button is the address or the different contracts that are associated with this particular smart contract. And you can pick the different ones that you would like to compile and deploy. And as you can see down here under compilation details, we have a little bit more information, which we won't be diving too deep into that as of right now. Also, we have the option of auto compile right here under compiler configuration. So let's go ahead and jump into deploy and run transactions. So at the top, we can select the different environments that Remix offers us. So for the most part, we're gonna be sticking with JavaScript VM. Now JavaScript allows transactions to be executed kind of like in the sandbox blockchain that's in the browser. This is why Remix is very good for learning Solidity and learning how to build smart contracts. As you can see right here on my account, it says I have 100 Ether with all these different addresses that it provides me with. Now keep in mind, like I said, this is a sandbox blockchain. So this isn't real ETH, this is just fabricated ETH that Remix allows us to use so that we can run our smart contract. Now, once we get into a little bit more advanced stages, we'll be jumping into Injected Web 3. As you can see under account, I only have one account attached here and it has 6.32024 Ether. Now, this account is attached to my MetaMask, which is right here. So Injected Web 3 basically allows uh, external wallets to connect to Remix. This is more of a realistic setting, which is also good for learning because it goes from kind of like the sandbox blockchain where you're just learning to advancing into more real life, real world application. So as you can see underneath the account, we have the gas limit which sets the maximum amount of gas that will be allowed for all the transactions created in Remix. And underneath that, we have the value, which sets the amount of ETH, Way, or GUE, as you can see at this drop-down menu, as well as Finny. I've never even used Finny before. But as well as Finny, and that is basically allowed to pay contracts through payable functions. And underneath that, we have the contract, which I've already deployed as I showed you guys over here. Compiled simple ERC contract. 
And these are basically all the smart contracts that are inherited by the simple ERC uh, smart contract. So we could choose from whichever one we would like to deploy. And underneath that is the actual deploy button where we can deploy the contract. Now, we cannot deploy this contract unless it is compiled su successfully with this green check mark right here. So let's go ahead and deploy this one. Oops, I accidentally left this on injected web three. I left the environment on injected web three. So let's go back to JavaScript VM because I don't want to use my ether that's in my MetaMask. So let's go ahead and deploy this one, right? Account 100 ether, I'm on JavaScript VM, deploy. And right down here, let me make this a little bit bigger. Come on. All right, let's just leave it like that. So right down here, as you can see, my transaction was successful. As you can see right here, gas that was consumed. And once a contract is deployed, you go ahead and click this arrow to drop it down. Essentially, like I said earlier, we're in a sandbox type of blockchain. So that is why when I click deploy, Remix essentially is gonna send the transaction to be mined where the newly created instance will be added. Now the thing with this is because I'm on JavaScript VM, notice how, go ahead and run that again. Notice how my transaction goes through instantaneously. Whereas if we were to do the same transaction on MetaMask, so injected, I switched the environment to injected web three on account, I'm on my MetaMask account, deploy, go to MetaMask, confirm. Notice how right here it says creation of address pending. And it may take a while for the transaction to actually go through. Just like I stated earlier, this is more of a real world application where I'm using an external wallet to initiate the transactions through Remix. Now, as you can see, it doesn't take too long, but the transaction was successful just like as if we're in JavaScript VM. So if you found this content to be useful, go ahead and hit that like or subscribe button, as well as leave any comments in the comment section below about anything that I miss about the Remix IDE platform. With that being said, I'll catch you in the next video.